Hey everybody, it's Mr. Math Blog here. This lesson is Ordered Pair Relationships. So this is lesson 3.8 and don't forget all your lessons can be found at this groovy site, MrMathBlog.com and here it is right here. So we are doing this length right here, the sixth grade math. Here's a sixth grade math for California. Uh, and that's what my school district's doing, but uh, your, this lesson goes in this one here, so it's going to go, if I click that, it's going to take us right down here, and I'll load it right here as soon as I get done right there, okay? All right, so here's our, our common core strand for our most awesome teachers, you guys, and then so our question here is how can we identify the relationship between points on a coordinate plane? And if you get a chance, can you uh, click like if you like the video, if it's helpful, and if you don't, then click on like. And if you want to leave a comment, I'll try my best to give you a, a reply. Okay, let's get started here. So remember in the last lesson, you guys, we plotted some points right here. So Points are always labeled in alphabetical order. So this would be X, this would be Y, this would be X, this would be Y. X comes before Y in the alphabet, X, Y. Okay, so the first number is our X coordinate, and it tells us to go left or right. We go um, left if it's negative, like right here and right here, and we go to the right when it's positive. The second number is Y, and it tells us to go up and down. So if it's positive, we go up. If it's negative, we go down. Okay, so let's graph this. So this one's to the right, uh, three, up, four. Okay, so from the origin to the right, three, up, four. So right there, okay? So then the next one is going to be to the right, three, down, four. So that's just down here, okay? The next one is to the left, two, up, four. So from the origin to the left, two, up, four. Okay, and then the other one is to the left and then down. So there it is right there. All right. So the four regions of the coordinate plane that are separated by these x-axis and the y-axis, they're called quadrants, and they're numbered with Roman numerals. This is quadrant 1, quadrant 2, quadrant 3, quadrant 4, and it goes in counterclockwise uh, fashion right here, okay? Um, and then if we know the signs of the coordinates of a point, we can determine which quadrant uh, that point is located. So if they're both positive, it's over here. If the X is negative and the Y is positive, it's in quadrant two. If they're both negative, it's in quadrant three. And if the X is positive but the Y is negative, it's down here in quadrant four. Okay, so that's how we graphed all of these. So this is quadrant one, quadrant two, quadrant three, quadrant four. Let's try one of these here. So the point negative two, four represents the location of Knowlton Elementary School. Identify the quadrant where that point is located. Okay, so what is the X coordinate and what is the Y coordinate? Okay, remember it's X comma Y. It's in alphabetical order. So X is negative two, Y is four right there. Okay, all right. So Let's find the quadrant that negative 2, 4 is located, okay? So let's examine the x coordinate. The x coordinate is that negative 2. So that means we're going to go two units to the left because it's negative, okay? And then so uh, since the point is to the left of the origin, it must be in either uh, this quadrant or this quadrant right here. So quadrant 2 or 3 right there. All right, so let's do the same thing with the y. The y coordinate is that 4 right there. So since it's positive, then we're going to go up 4 units up right there. So that since that point is above the origin right here, or it's, a, it's up here, then it must be in quadrant 2 right there, okay? So let's check by graphing. Let's go ahead and graph negative 2, 4. So to the left, 2, up, 4. So there it is right there. There's good old Knowlton Elementary School right there. So the point that represents Knowlton Elementary School is located here in quadrant 2 right there. Okay. All right, so look at the signs of the coordinates of a points in quadrants 1 and 2. What do they have in common, and how are they different? Okay, so look at, uh, at the signs of the coordinates here. So look, it's x is positive, y is positive. Over here, x is negative, y is positive. So the y coordinates in both the uh, quadrants 1 and 2, in both these quadrants, the y coordinates are both positive. But in quadrant 1, only the x is positive. In quadrant 2, the x is negative right there, okay? All right. So here's what's called a line of symmetry. A, a figure has a line of symmetry if it, if it can be folded down this line right here so, so that this part will fold right on top of this side right here, okay? 
So this is called an isosceles triangle right here because this side right here has the same length as this side. So when two sides have the same length, it's called an isosceles triangle. So if we took that triangle and we folded it right down this line of symmetry right here, then this side would fit right on top of this side right here. Okay, it's called a line of symmetry. So we'll use the idea of line of symmetry to analyze the relationship between points like uh, here, 5, negative 1 and negative 5, negative 1, where the coordinates only differ by their signs. They have the same numbers, so they just differ by the signs. So there's something that happens with the line of symmetry when that happens. So look at all these uh, points right here. They have the same numbers right here. They only differ by the signs. Here this is positive, positive. Here this is negative, this is positive. Negative, negative, and then positive, negative right here. So identify the lines of symmetry right here. Okay, so the lines of symmetry are this line right here because I can fold it right down here and when I fold it the top would fold right down here and D would come right down here on C and A would fold right down here on B okay or, or if we folded it up it would go up there or we can fold it right down this line if we folded it down this line this half would come over here okay so the uh, which axis is the horizontal line of symmetry this axis is the horizontal line of symmetry right here the X axis and so this is the vertical line of symmetry. This is the y-axis right here, okay? So look at points A and B right here. What do you notice about the x-coordinates? Well, the x-coordinate here is 5. The x-coordinate here is 5. How about the y-coordinates? The y-coordinate is 4. The y-coordinate is negative 4. So it looks like, um, uh, what do we notice about these points? The x-coordinates are the same and the y-coordinates are opposites of each other. Okay, point B is a reflection of point A across which axes? Okay, so B is a reflection of, of A up here, so it's a mirror image down here across this axis here. So it's across the x-axis, uh, because if we fold the rectangle over this x-axis right here, Point B and point A would become the same point. They would land right on top of each other. So look at points A and D this time. So here's A over here. Here's D over here. What do you notice about the x-coordinates? Okay, this x-coordinate is 5. This x-coordinate is negative 5. So they're, they're opposites. How about the y's? The y is 4. The y is 4. So the y's are the same. So the x-coordinates are opposites and the y's are the same. All right, so point D is a reflection of A across which axes? Okay, so D is over here, A is over here, so it gets folded over this axis, the Y axis, and it's getting if we fold over that, then the points A and D will line right on top of each other right there. Which point is a reflection of point B across the X axis and then across the Y axis? So let's reflect this across the X axis. So here's the X axis, so it's going to go boom, right there. Okay, and then we'll reflect it across the y-axis. So we'll now go boom over there. So it's going to be, so when we fold it right here, it's going to go to A, and then this is going to go to D. So which point does it go to finally after those two? Point D right there. Okay, and let's answer some more here. So compare the coordinates of points D and, and I'm sorry, of B and D. Okay, so here's B, here's D. Notice the x-coordinates are 5 and negative 5, so they're opposites. The y-coordinates are negative 4 and positive 4, so the y-coordinates are opposites also. Both the x and y-coordinates are opposites, okay? Same with these guys. If you go diagonal, this is 5, this is negative 5. This is 4, this is negative 4. So these coordinates are also opposite coordinates also. These ones are opposite coordinates and these ones are opposite coordinates, okay? Easy enough. All right. So describe how the coordinates of a point changes if it's reflected across the x-axis. Okay. Well, that's when it goes, you know, say if we take this point and it goes over here. Okay. So, so the x-coordinates, oh, I'm sorry, across the x-axis right here. Here's the x-axis. Okay. So it says the x-axis right here. So the x-coordinates goes from 5 to 5. So the x-coordinates don't change. But the y-coordinates change signs. It goes from 4 to negative 4. All right, you guys, I hope you're having a fantastic year. Take care.